Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you this uh, for this week's energy. Uh, thank you for being here. Okay, so you have the Ten of Cups in Love and Romance. So if things are going well, they're going well, and it's really good. It's an opportunity for you guys to actually realize something, for it to be realized. Right now, it's just emotional, emotional bliss. It's it's going well. Um, maybe even with the uh, your person's family, or if you're a family, it just seems like it, it could really go the distance here. It says the opportunity uh, for greatness is here. It's just about how you, you two perform well together, or if, if you do perform well together. Okay. Cause there's opportunity for you to not, you know, for this not to go to distance, uh, the 10 of cups also it's, it talks about holiday, holiday, uh, bliss and, you know, just joy. Maybe even you're traveling for the holidays. You're going back to see family or they're seeing yours or it's kind of blended. You'll spend your time with the other person's family and then um, you'll go to see your family also, uh, in career and finance, you have the King of cups. So there could be some business deals here. You're all about business matters and making something happen here. You're trying to use your creative flow and your creative juices here. King of cups to actually ma manifest something here. Um, you could be in a creative sector. You could deal with a lot of different energies around you and you just have to know how to, uh, maneuver around all of them. Um, it feels as if, you, you kind of hide yourself in terms of or your real self in terms of maybe business. I don't know if you're hiding. It's okay. Hiding your sexuality or hiding you, your true self in terms of business here. Okay. I don't even know what this is about. Yeah. And then King of Cups here. Some of you could be going to a father figure and getting advice. Um, you're thinking about travel. You're thinking about, um, maybe making something right, maybe even making something official, or you're wondering if someone will make it official, will do right by you. You're thinking about um, what the future holds between you and someone else. You understand that this right now, this relationship is, is at a place of make it or break it, or it, your career in finance is at a place of you have to do the right thing, or you, you have to put all of your energy, effort, time into this thing in order to make it work. And if you don't, you're going to get out of it. And that could be the same in love and romance too. Some of you, again, a lot of holding back, um, not sh showing your true feelings or your true self, or you don't feel comfortable. You don't feel vulnerable enough. You don't feel, uh, you know, loved enough to actually, um, speak how you feel something about holding back. You're learning how to, you know, um, have compassion also not saying everything that, uh, comes to your mind or comes to the brain. Again, holding back. There's something dark here, okay? Dark male is coming out. So it's like something is um, a secret or something is just um, not out in the open. I don't know what it could be. It could be about sexuality. It could be about someone maybe flaunting their sexuality or someone is holding that back. Someone doesn't want to actually um, put that out there. Maybe in terms of business or getting business deals or closing deals or you know, they feel like that will cause some great effect to their business. This is what I have for you, uh, Pisces. If it resonates for you, uh, go over to the website, book your reading there. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you could come and learn the tarot with me. I do have tarot classes. The link is below. And if you feel like you want to talk to me, I am now on keen.com. Yep, you could talk to me a 10-minute chat for $1.99. So take advantage of that, Pisces. Thank you again. Take care.